I'm Dr. T, and I'd like to talk about a book, A Perfect Red. Okay, so A Perfect Red is kind of a history of a color. It's talking about red, uh, specifically cochineal. Cochineal is a red dye. It is extracted from an insect that feeds off of uh, prickly pear cactus. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait, what? Uh, so, of course, you know, humans like bright colors. Uh, in the 21st century, we actually live in, even though we can have any color we ever wanted, at least in Western society, we typically live very muted colors. Uh, you know, if you look at traditional garments, uh, they're colorful. And as humans, we like color. Of course, um, you know, certain colors are a status symbol. Um, Terry and purple, you know, crushed nails. Uh, that thing's expensive. Uh, so dying, not the no longer being alive, but the making something colorful, uh, has become or has always really been a very important business. And uh, Perfect Red is really jumps in, gives an idea of the dyer's trade uh, throughout history and really the level of money and how it has interacted with uh, really a lot of human history. Uh, so, you know, we start out with vegetable dyes and mineral dyes. So take this rock, grind it up, take this plant, boil it, etc. And a lot of the dyers trade uh, in a time before patents and other intellectual property law uh, was shrouded in secrecy because if you could make a blue shirt better than anybody else, you dare didn't tell anyone how, otherwise they just will make the same blue shirt. And of course, one of the colors that was of particular value was red. And in the age of sail, as Spain is conquering the new world, they encounter the perfect red, cochineal. It's better than really any of the other natural uh, dyes. And it was one of the best uh, red dyes up until modern uh, chemistry and dealing with the modern synthetic dyes, uh, starting with Mauveen and Perkins uh, work, or Perkins work with Mauveen. Uh, so, of course, you know, everyone wants to cut on this. Uh, Spain is shipping over red dye, silver, etc. from the New World. Of course, they're using, shall we say, less than ethical approach. I mean, it's just downright wrong. Uh, full-on slavery to get this. Uh, they also find that turns out cochineal takes a lot of love and care to grow. If you're beating slaves, they're not going to be giving you the love and care that you need to get your red dye. So it, there's some interesting uh, social commentary in here. Of course, you know, slavery, bad, period. I hope we know this. Uh, if that's new to you, that, that's a problem. Uh, but of course, this thing goes into industrial espionage, pirates, and the like. So uh, to quote the history guy, uh, every great story involves pirates. Probably just butchered that quote, didn't I? Anyways, uh, A Perfect Red, definitely a good story. Uh, you know, it's got pirates in it. What can I say? Uh, definitely an interesting look into it. Doesn't jump into the chemistry a ton. Uh, it's really much more about the dying process, but definitely gives you uh, some insights into a realm uh, that is not necessarily chemistry, but you know, applied chemistry that you would not normally think of and stuff that you're not gonna get, you know, just with your normal chemistry um, experience going through a chemistry education, unless you're going into dye manufacture, et cetera. So like I had never heard of the term mordant, which is what you use to get the dye to actually stick to the cloth. Uh, so with that said, once again, have a wonderful day, check out A Perfect Red, and I'll see you next time.